message Thursday, 5.44 p.m. Our civilian in Old Brow wants to secure the uh, celebrity endorsement uh, that I mentioned to you the other day for the Stevia thing. He's none other than fellow Villanova grad, Howie Longfellow. He's going to be endorsing the product. And uh, we're going from here. Uh, take care, though. Anyhow. Message to me. Take messages. To everybody out there, especially Eddie Bravo and Joe Rogan, because supposedly you know my name and you're listening. You know, this is what I get. And truthfully, if uh, I'm not set up at Notre Dame, everybody in America knows me, you know, and I'm saying the same things to fucking on uh, national television that I told Muhammad Ali. and they probably tap my phone and do and shit like at Notre Dame you know that it was bullshit that we always fucking try to help the poor in every other country you know we should help the poor in our own yada yada can you imagine me on TV doing the things that I did in practice and in games on television on Sundays word starts to spread you know and there's a change seriously because It's a fact. Too few have way too much in this country and it's sitting in bank accounts and it's not doing a motherfucking thing to help anybody except them and the interests, right? What it should be doing is putting Americans to work, doing good things. But that's why they phase the jobs out so they can make shit that doesn't fucking last. He, <laughs> he just almost did walk in front of my car and caused me to miss this light and shit, you know. But uh, thank goodness that he figured out that. Uh, anyway, uh, did you miss that? Yeah. There's a lot of people out there that need our help. And, you know, the money was like fucking uh, siphoned off in a rack in many different ways. And what I'm saying, gentlemen, is that you both know that stevia, oh no, not stevia yet, but that marijuana is like magic for the human body. It makes you feel so good, but if you do lots of it, you get tired, lethargic, and you eat, and you turn into a fat pig. And what I'm saying is that stevia counterbalances the point that I've sat on my ass for very, very close to 200,000 to 200,000 hands of poker, Joe Rogan. Uh, yeah, to prove, you know, like in front of Congress, this shit works, because I've been fat before, and, uh, you know, I'm not fat, and the six tumor, 62 pound vanishing thing in my Uncle Bob Johnson in four months, I mean, think about it, bottle of liquid up that has the same ballpark effect on everybody that needs it, and doesn't that automatically make me one of the richest men on the planet when it catches on? And we start to sell it, and it's my idea, you know. So I'm gonna get at least some of the profit. And since I'm gonna do good things, you know, how much do I need? I would give 95% of billions away to people that, you know, were starving, homeless, and hungry, trying to do good things, start companies that change things, you know, instead of paying all the money up to a few, spreading it around, man. So everybody had enough, you know. I mean. Why not? If you can afford it, it's the closest thing to a Robin Hood scheme or even a Jesus Christ scheme, you know, since, uh, you know, one wanted to rob from the rich and give to the poor and the other just wanted to feed everybody and make sure that everybody had, you know, a place to stay, you know, uh, wasn't wasn't starving, you know, uh, in a land that can provide so much. And seriously, gentlemen, while we're on the subject, humans are being used like a herd of animals to ruin this planet, okay? Because everything that, quote unquote, they sell us to use is basically toxic and in some form or fashion, it is uh, directly related to this this toxic shit that we pump out of the ground called oil, right? 
We use it to incinerate water inside internal combustion engines. Seriously, think about it, guys. Is there an even return? There's no humidity on an LA freeway when it's fucking dry as fuck and hot as fuck, okay? It's stop and go traffic. There'd be brown humidity everywhere. Water vaporized because you take it past the burn point and, uh, you know what? It turns into toxic dust smog. So, with that said, can you imagine how easy this game called life would have been if Jerry Faust is Captain Notre Dame, Marty Lippicott and I are starting on the same defensive line that takes over college football when we win the national championship. Frank Stams is up, you know, somewhere where he came from in Ohio, you know. Uh, he doesn't hit the NFL, <laughs> you know, and uh, people are listening to me, especially because it comes out that Boogaloo, the guy that drew the bad boy picture, and uh, do me before and after, I knocked out five guys at Juanitas, you know, and so if we did a lie detector test, Joe Rogan, you know how they do on uh, Fear Factor, do you, ever? Um, yeah, just ask him. Did I ask him at a party, what'd you do, draw those spikes around my wrist to throw out the scent? See, because at that time, I thought literally that punk rockers were fucking subhuman, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, I had no empathy for anybody that wasn't exactly like me, you know, talented, you know. Uh, well, that's not really true, because I had friends that, you know, anyways, let's not get into that. Fact is, uh, I would have had no appreciation for a lot of common folk, you know, when I turned out to be ungodly fucking rich. And that's what Stevie is going to do, because, fact, it washes water pure. You put steamy water in blend, water triples in size. So filling a five gallon container with water and then 10 tablespoons, 11 tablespoons of stevia and blending. And you can fill three five gallon containers with this white soup. And that white soup cycles back into water with soap floating on top. If you get all the slope, the floating soap, yeah, I can buy two words. Anyways, uh, you get all that shit out. The second blend, the soap is a lot smaller. Uh, if you use enough stevia, it doesn't take many blends, and you're vanishing all the soap that's hidden in water. Okay? Pour it down the sink in the drain, right? Has to go somewhere. It's just hidden. You don't see it, and yet people in record numbers are getting sick with cancer and other things. And it's supposed to be getting better. Anyways, Joe Rogan, get enough of that soap out. And I actually increased the weight of water by taking something out. Have I said this before? But that's a big one you know, in front of a Nobel Prize committee. Because the heavier water, yeah, I mean, seriously, a, a 500 milliliter bottle, I said this before, but I took it out before I blended the soap out and a bottle weighed X amount, and at the end, uh, the new bottle was what I call pure H2O, weighed three to three and a half grams heavier. My theory is that man-made toxins that are making people sick and uh, fucking their body up in different ways, they were taken out, making room for heavier, healthier, hydrogen, or kind of water, pure, nothing man-made in toxic. And uh, that's what brought E.T. the cat back in the perfect health, Joe Rogan. So what I'm saying is, is there a moratorium for Dana White in the UFC not to help me because, you know, I tried to get Dana's attention and I said that, you know, that was a brilliant move on his part, you know, pay or tease up not to show up, but then I was thinking, I bet you Dana White could actually, you know, learn hands, and, and in a punchy match, kick Tito's ass, because he don't like to get hit. Uh, anyhow, is there a moratorium, brother, on helping Dan Quinn get Stevie famous, considering it 
really probably got Diego Sanchez a lot more dick in his life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he's on stevia. He's looking like a young, ripped up Spanish Bruce Lee. Was the stevia giving him an erection at the fucking weigh-ins for whatever UFC it was? <laughs> How embarrassing, you know? Uh, I bet you he couldn't pass a lie detector test if they asked him, was it Ali Sedona you were thinking about? Or that guy over there with the shorts off would be <laughs> bugger-licious. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Diego, funny thing. I told these guys a story, you know, and uh, how in my phone I used to have texts. The guys still do. Have you seen you would kick my ass? And I said, bring it the fuck on, dude. I'd blow you up. You're too small for me. And you know what they said? <laughs> You're too small for me. Well, I'd hurt you, but uh, would that be enough to get Stevie famous? If so, you know what, dude? You fucking owe me. Seriously. The fact that Allie's titty can have to be cut so someone who is actually heterosexual and can put it to use and shit uh, is going to benefit down the road. Um, fact, not fiction. A woman dies every seven seconds in the United States from breast cancer alone. And Allie had something that was potentially on its way to breast cancer growing for one and a half years, getting bigger and bigger, and potentially ending your career, ending your life, causing major concern, vanish in 14 days drinking sweet water, just from stevia, okay? Uh, imagine how much quicker it would have been if it was pure. And imagine this getting famous, Diego, and attacking you legally. You know what? On every level, man, because I'll be able to. And you actually said that you would fight me. And I'm saying, dude, in a second, I would rather fight Aaron Frank. You know, he's a little bit too big for you, okay? And uh, if I threw more than one punch at his face, I would only knock his mouthpiece out. I'd knock his consciousness out, right? And music to my ears when I went to Team Carnage today, because my grumpy said, yes, you know, I'm allowed there. But what I got to do is stop talking about the stevia thing, counteracting the marijuana thing, you know, especially for like high school students, as if they don't know a kid that's gotten in trouble for maybe marijuana use or an illegal white stimulant. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get shaved again, and I'm giving some kilos of uh, stevia out okay, to some key people that when their bodies start to melt down, word will spread. And uh, sooner or later, Joe Rogan, this is going to go global. And I was hoping that it would be with your help and virtually overnight, brother. Uh, seriously, Joe Rogan, will you please, or Eddie Bravo, please, play the violin ASAP and then Twitter the results so this shit can start to go famous, brother. Peace out, my nigga. And you can tell me the PC on that, you know? Down the road when we're kicking it and we're getting high and uh, spun on Stevie, bro. Late.